is a person with severe masturbation addiction similar to that of the cum brain. Bear with me. No Nut November is a pledge that young men take to try to avoid porn and not masturbate throughout the month. From November 1st onwards, numerous Twitter users began taking the pledge to change their avatar to the Kuma if they failed No Nut November. Logging on to Twitter on November 2nd, preparing for the inevitable. You can now take the pledge that if you jack off during No Nut November, you have to change your avatar to the Coomer. Are you man enough to take on the challenge? PewDiePie took the pledge. But as expected, the mere prospect of young men involving themselves in a like-minded community or simply enjoying a meme caused panic amongst a deluge of degenerate cum brains. Instead of participating in No Nut November, abstain from racism, misogyny, homophobia, reading forums that provide inaccurate puritanical information about masturbation that perpetuate moral panic about sexuality. Okay, Kuma. No fap is fascism, plain and simple. We all know it. These Nazis want purity and are terrified of the thought of other men masturbating. I'll bet most of the Ugo right is incapable of wooing a woman. Bruh. Porn is there is pacify them so they don't go on mass shootings. Telling an incel Nazi to not masturbate to porn is telling a patient not to take medicine. We need more porn, not less. Okay, Kuma. Porn addiction is not a thing. Not a thing. OCD is a thing, compulsive behaviours are a thing, and misuse of sexuality to fill a void are all things. But porn addiction is not a thing! Okay, Kuma. Why, No Nut November could actually be bad for your health. Okay, Kuma. Ah, it's No Nut November where a bunch of men decide to not jack off, making them even more unbearable, Bruh. and most likely aiding in their chances of getting prostate cancer. Idiot. Okay, Kuma. This is why the terrorists hate us. Okay, Paul. You hate women. We get it already. <laughs> okay, Kuma. Paul Joseph Watson, man. You know, PJW tweeted um, this is why the terrorists hate us. Which side are you on, PJW? Because first of all, freedom is the freedom to be a little bit of a hoe. Okay, Kuma. A lot of girls signed up and wanted to twerk to have a little bit of a workout and to have a little bit of fun. Love this. I don't have a wife and I couldn't be any more single. <laughs> Okay, Kuma. Emma Watson has said she prefers to call herself self-partnered rather than single as she approaches her 30th birthday. Okay, Kuma. I'm also self-partnered. Hi. Are you participating in No Nut November? Stop it! What the fuck is wrong with you? Do you want prostate cancer? Because that's how you get prostate cancer. Beat your meat. Okay, Kuma. Masturbating helps prevent prostate cancer. Shut the fuck up, Combrain. I haven't cleaned my room in weeks. All I do is beat my meat. I get nothing done cause I'm a Kuma. I'm a Kuma. I'm a Kuma. Why am I talking about any of this. Porn, bear with me. Why do adult humans seem incapable of going just a few days without cooming when masturbation amongst other primates is so incredibly rare? Scientific American looked at numerous studies which all found that primates in the wild masturbated incredibly infrequently, if at all. But when held in captivity, Primates masturbate way more often. Chimp in state of nature never jerks off, but in captivity he does. What does this mean? In state of nature he's too busy, to put it plainly. He's concerned with mastering space, solving problems of life in and under trees, mastering what tools he can, mastering social relations in the jockeying for power and status. Deprived of this drive to development and self-increase, he devolves to pointless masturbation in captivity where he senses he is in own space and therefore the futility of all his efforts and all his actions. The onanism of modern society is connected with its supposed hypersexualization and its infertility. It's not really hypersexualization, but the devolution of the spirit to the lassitude of a diffuse and weak sexuality. Is it merely a coincidence that the growth in widespread availability of free porn paralleled declining fertility rates in the West. I'm so fucking horny! Is it merely a coincidence that the widespread availability of free porn paralleled ever-increasing rates of depression amongst young people in the West? I know all the porn size memes there are burnt in my brain because I'm a fucking stupid coomer. Think about what state of mind you're in just before you start watching porn. Are you feeling good about yourself? Motivated? Get up and go? No, you're miserable, lonely, and depressed. <laughs>
Kuma. Yep. He's not Kuma. I noticed. Porn is a sedative drug that disincentivizes you from attracting real women. It literally rewires your brain and leads to erectile dysfunction. All right, so let's look at what happens with sensitization. Remember, the more you do something, the deeper and stronger the pathway gets in your brain. So let's say this right here is a pathway for porn. And this right here is a neural pathway for a real woman. When a guy's watching porn a lot, his brain is wiring for porn and not a real woman. Also, the more shocking, surprising, or new something is, the more dopamine that's released. The more dopamine that's released in the reward circuit, the more Delta Foss B is released, ultimately leading to deeper and stronger pathways. Now, internet porn provides way more stimulation than a real girl because internet porn has a never-ending supply of new, shocking, and increasingly hardcore porn to watch. Over time, you eventually have a huge pathway or bacon strip in your brain and the pathway to the real woman just can't compete. All right, now you have this new, huge, sensitized pathway in your brain for porn use that gets activated by any cues or thoughts or anything related to it. And now you have a reward circuit that doesn't get too aroused by a real partner but gets really aroused by porn use. Some guys can actually get an erection at first when going for sex with a real partner, but lose it either trying to penetrate or during sex because they've trained their brain to need constant hits of dopamine that internet porn provides by clicking and clicking to a new video. Porn shrinks areas of your brain linked to motivation and reward. Cambridge University found that pornography triggers brain activity similar to that triggered by drugs in the brains of drug addicts. Porn encourages immediate self-gratification, destroying the skill of delayed gratification which is crucial to self-discipline and concentration. Militaries are even deploying porn as a weapon of war. And I get it. It's hard to imagine never watching porn. But before you know it, it may not be hard at all. Okay, Boomer. The evils of porn are as self-evident as Epstein didn't kill himself. Porn is doing incredible damage to the minds of a generation of young men. <laughs> and that's why progressives, or cum brains, are so upset with No Nut November and the Kuma meme. Because it actually encourages young men to reclaim control over their own lives, something that the fringe left sees as toxic masculinity. People who successfully avoid fapping also report feeling huge amounts of energy, and in some cases turning their entire lives around. In the three weeks that I abstained, I wrote 20 articles, built a bed, started work on a book, and began eating salad like any proper functioning adult with a fear of imminent heart disease should, wrote Ed Jones. As soon as I started going at myself again, all that productivity disappeared, shot up the wall in a long, thick arc of lost potential. So in the spirit of No Nut November, it's time to part with the porn habit. One day at a time. Oh yeah, and when it comes to e-girls, who's got the clip? No e-girls! Never! Alright, nice picture. That's a compliment, trust me, because girls love that. Relationships that start out online are 28% more likely to break down in their first year than relationships where the couples met face to face. And couples who met online are nearly three times as likely to get divorced as couples that met face to face. Evil week. Dating advice. How to cheat and not get caught. Every single relationship I've been in, I've cheated with at least four other guys. Did it for 14 years. Just goes to say I am a serial cheater and I've never been caught for it. Not even once. Weird flex, but okay. Boy, oh boy, here it is. I'm married and happy, but it's good to be in the know. See, this is why the terrorists hate us. But just thank God for the trad girls, right? Trad e-girl expectations. I'm saving myself for my husband. Return to tradition, post pick of women in Wheatfield. We must stop them from destroying our family values. Women should stay at home. Trad e-girl reality. Nudes have been leaked and shared amongst Manabund. Can't take care of herself, much less children. Can't afford rent, but can afford iPhone X to take selfies in dresses. Cooking current boyfriend with a random e-boy in the circle. Lads. Just take a deep breath. For no nut November, no simping, no beta books, no porn, and absolutely no cooming. Are you a coomer? Bruh, pathetic. <laughs>
It's absolutely crucial for you to help me fight the war on free speech by supporting me via subscribe star, link in description, and also signing up for my free newsletter at summit.news forward slash newsletter.